guys how's it going daniel here and today um was wwdc apple's big developer conference um where they showed off uh the latest uh, newest os for their uh platforms for their um watch os their tv os their mac os and their um ios uh platforms so i just want to make a short video of each of them and which were the biggest feature that i took from it and share them with you if you have if you guys haven't seen uh the conference yet so they first started off with um, watchOS 3. Um, so there's going to be some cool updates coming to it. Um, so speed uh, for apps. So with watchOS 1 and watchOS 2, uh, opening apps still really suck. Um, they take a long time to open up. You're waiting there to open up. But now with watchOS 3, um, you just click the app on your watch face and it will open up like that like there's no more loading to it so it took them a while but it's finally here um now there's control center so when you swipe from bottom to top um just like the iphone you get to have some controls there to change stuff and um uh turn on stuff or turn off stuff uh from your apple watch uh next is um there's now an app dock on it so yeah it's like a multi uh, how do you call it? Multi use, I guess. So um, you click the bottom uh, button from the crown and you get to, and it will open up uh, all these other apps uh, that you are using on your Apple Watch. So you can see your health, you can see all these other apps without having to open uh, every single app on your Apple Watch. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, there's some new w w watch faces coming uh, with watchOS 3. Um, one of them that they talked about was uh, Minnie Mouse. So since Mickey Mouse was out on the first day, uh, Minnie Mouse is now coming to the Apple Watch. So if you're a fan of that, you'll now have Minnie Mouse on your Apple Watch. Um, there's also um, a Breathe app coming. Um, so with the Apple Watch, you'll be able to have some deep breathing. Um, exercising so if you get nervous or something you get to use the breathe app um, so that's pretty cool right there as well um, and that's pretty much a big uh, stuff that are coming to the watch OS 3 um, the developer preview, uh, preview of course is out right now um, the public version is going to be out in the fall of course um, so now TV OS um, since they re-released the new TV OS last year, uh, new updates, new everything, and since Apple is pushing us, uh, the apps are going to be the future of TV, um, there's now going to be a remote app for your iPhone, so now you'll be able to use your iPhone to control your Apple TV and play games with it as well. So that's something that a lot of people have been asking for, and Apple uh, will now be releasing that app as well. Um, dark mode. Dark mode is such a big thing on uh, both platforms on iOS and Android. Um, so dark mode is coming to the Apple TV, which makes sense because sometimes you're watching your movies or your shows at night, um, and then there's a bright white uh, dashboard, I guess, that's pretty bright and it just hurts your eyes sometimes too, and it just doesn't make sense. So dark mode is coming to the Apple TV. Um, single sign-on, the biggest thing that everybody has been clapping for um, so now you'll be able to um, sign in to everything just by signing in once uh, so that's pretty cool no more typing for everything no more entering your password I mean for every single thing because all you have to do is just one sign on and that's it um, and that's pretty much it big stuff for tvOS um, developer preview is out now everybody else will be getting it in the fall OS 10 so OS 10 uh, is for the Mac, of course, um, and now it has a new name called Mac OS. Um, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, so the big features with OS, uh, with Mac OS, I mean, uh, Universal Clipboard, which got a big clap also. Um, so Universal Clipboard, you'll be able to copy and paste from your iPad to your Mac or Mac to your iPhone. 
So all three platforms will be now be uh, together and be useful. If you're using maybe your iPad to do some work, but then you want to switch to the Mac, you'll be able to do that really easily with Clipboard. Um, login easy now, so no more entering your password every time you turn on your Mac, or I mean when you lock it. Um, if you're wearing your Apple Watch um, and you're close to your Mac, it will unlock automatically, so that's pretty cool as well. Um, Apple Pay is coming to the web, so if you're a big fan of Apple Pay, you'll now be able to use it on the web. You'll be able to use Touch ID on your iPhone or just use uh, your Apple Watch as a login or as a confirm s system. Um, Siri is finally coming to the Mac, so after so long just being stuck on the iPhone and iPad, it's finally going coming to the Mac. Um, you'll be able to use it to tell it to play music, search stuff on the web, send text messages. Uh, so all that cool stuff now series on the web um, and of course the developer previews out now public version is going to come out oh public beta is coming out in July everybody else will get it in the fall and of course the big uh, OS iOS 10 um, the one that where Apple is making all its money um, some new cool features that are coming to it race to wake so every time you lift up your phone uh, the sensor will turn on and you'll see if you have any messages on your lock screen um, more interactive no no notifications with 3d touch so that's pretty cool um, live, live status updates on your lock screen so what that means is that you'll be able to send pictures uh, videos um, all through your lock screen when you're messaging somebody on their message app uh, a new design uh, on their control center, so when you swipe from bottom to top, it's a new redesign, it looks really nice, really cool, um, and nice and slick as well. Um, now, uh, there are two icons missing in the lock screen with iOS 10, uh, the camera app. So the camera app, now all you have to do is swipe from right to left and you open the camera up and when you swipe from left to right you will get to see all your widgets that you have downloaded and installed on your iPhone um, and then what else oh yeah big thing that a lot of developers were clapping um, Siri is now going to be open to developers so after years of Apple saying that it was going to do this but then changed its uh, uh, changed its mind well now they finally came to terms to release Siri to developers so now you'll be able to use Siri much more useful and much more deep with other apps as well. Um, Siri is coming to, uh, to your iOS keyboard so with quick type it's a new feature so what that means when you're messaging somebody with the Apple keyboard um, it will um, how do you call it uh, suggest um, keywords for using it so it's pretty much late to the game with swift key or the google keyboard already out there that are already doing these stuff apple is just playing catch up here uh finally photos it's getting machine learning so the same thing the same update that we saw last year with google photos apple is releasing that to um, photos on ios so it's another catch-up game right here as well um proactive maps is coming to maps so much more uh, maps is going to be useful to developers and everybody else and uh, maps is also going to be open to developers as well uh, so that's pretty much it for iOS um, now it's just Apple Music stuff so last year when they released Apple Music um, it was a fail a lot of people complained of the design it was hard to use it was laggy um, now they redesigned the whole app again uh, to make it much more easy to, for you to use and much more uh, simple as well and a pretty nice font uh, they're using their San Francisco font is much more bolder this one so it's their new bold version as well um, and of course they're releasing a new app called home app um, it's for your connected home so you could turn on the lights turn on dim the lights turn on the, uh, turn uh, turn down the curtains uh, lock door all that stuff from the home app with your iPad or I or your iPhone um, there's a new message uh, for the message app as well so just like Google with Allo that they talked about this year um, Apple is doing some, the same thing with bubble effect um, so the same thing like Allo and Google um, you'll be able to um, make your 
uh, messages have much more feelings, I guess. Um, invisible ink, which is actually a pretty cool feature. So if you wanna, if you're typing something but you don't want your friends to see it right away, they have to slide on top of the message for the invisible ink to uh, turn off, and they can see the message that you sent them, or photo, anything that you want. Uh, full effects and screen. So what this means is live animations in the background when you uh, send something. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And also messages is being released to developers. So those were the big things I took away from WWDC this year. Um, some cool stuff that our app was working on OS. Um, there was no mention of uh, iMessage coming to Android, which a lot of people speculated. Um, they're still going on with the WWDC conference. I just stopped watching it because now it's just all uh, much more for developers for them to enjoy and what cool stuff Apple is releasing to them and for them. So that's pretty much it. The big stuff that you're going to see and read right now on the internet when the, when the conference is done. And that's it for now, guys. And I will see you guys later. Peace.